What's up, YouTube? It's you again. Um, I was playing some Destiny yesterday, and I, all I did was turn on the computer, and then launch the game, and then continue to play it for maybe two or three hours, and then I noticed my performance was running horribly slow, so I closed the game. I thought maybe I need to restart the game. That was not the case. As soon as I closed the game, I saw that the rest of my computer was also running horribly slow. Everything from opening Chrome to opening like files, File Explorer. Um, so I decided to open Task Manager. So I opened Task Manager and I saw that memory was at full, like 100% utilization and it was this thing here, news and interest. So what that is, is this thing here, when you hover over, you see that it updates, or it gives you like uh, relevant news of the, the time and, and your weather and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, what it's see, you see, it uses about 500 megs of, of memory. But then when you put it away, it's supposed to go back down to zero, and it does right now. But apparently there's a bug uh, in a recent Windows update that keeps it from, uh, from dumping that. And so it ends up refreshing repeatedly and eating up all your RAM over time. Like I said, I wasn't even, I was just in game. And in the background, it was eating up, it ate up over 10 gigs of RAM. You can see right now I've got 16 total and six uh, that it's using right now during this recording and stuff. I've got some other background stuff running. But it ate up like 12 gigs of RAM in about two or three hours or something like that. And so what you can do, again, it's news and interests. Of course, if it's not news and interest for you and it's something else, you can find it in here if you see that any anything appears at 100% utilization. Um, so what you can do if it is news and interest is right-click your taskbar and go to news and interests, anywhere in your taskbar, really. Um, news and interests, and then turn off. And that'll make it go away. Because it's not going to be updating and stuff. It's not going to do anything anymore. It's still installed on your computer. It's still available. You can still always enable it, but it's not going to be updating anything because it's not even part of your taskbar anymore. So I uh, hope you found this video useful. Again, if you find that it's not that or you don't know which one it is and you're having trouble sorting because it keeps refreshing and stuff, what you can do is just click on whichever one is being overutilized, for example, memory, and it'll show you from most utilization to least utilization. So if there's one thing eating up everything, all the resources, then you'll find it right at the top of the list when you do that. Uh, same thing is true with CPU. Of course, what you can do is right click and you can end task. In this case, I'm not gonna end this, of course. Uh, but if I know what it is and it's just kind of some, some app that I was running that I don't really need or something, um, and I know it's safe to end it, then I would end it. And then I would go Google and see why that's happening. Uh, if you don't know what it is, for example, Radeon Settings Host Service, and you do, if you don't know what that is, you can jump on Chrome, Google it, and then see if it's maybe uh, uh, essential to your computer running or not. In this case, it's like my, my graphics driver, which I do need. Um, and if you're unsure, then you can just look up the name, Radeon Settings Host Service, um, using up too much RAM or using too much memory. And then hopefully you'll find some useful information. In any case, this is how you can find some bottlenecks. And that was the one that happened to me just recently. So I would guess it's probably happening to a lot of people right now. So hopefully you found this video useful. And uh, uh, if not, you can hit thumbs down if you like. Um, of course, nobody else can see that, so they don't see if it's a useful video. But if you leave a comment saying, like, this video didn't help me, then you know people can like that comment, and then people could see maybe more accurately whether the useful was the video was useful to people or not uh, otherwise leave a thumbs up or whatever and all that youtube nonsense i hope this helps somebody i'll see you guys later